because that when they knew the most high they glorified him not as god neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened professing themselves to be wise they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like to corruptible men and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Rukhakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders are great most soon for teaching truth and for ruling well. And peace salutation to all you Akim out there pushing and defending this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, as well as to the believers anyhow by Shin Shah, the men as well as the women, the whole for the elect. This is the brother Kahana Law from the GMS Hawaii. And I just saw I wanted to do a, a quick lesson, Lord willing it be edifying. Inspired by this video you're about to see shared by one of the elders and uh ultimately you know showing how our people uh create idols out of nothing even though they understand that there is a a divine power in the heavens man that created all things including ourselves man jake or uh, rather create idols unto themselves whether that be money whether it be you know uh other men or themselves, you know, or like the scriptures say, or, or birds or four-footed beasts, you know, Jake rather have uh, these idols or in, in, in some cases they call it these gods, which we know is nothing but idols that allow them to, to feel good or to be, you know, uh, so-called successful or, or you know, um, prosperous in in this life man not understanding that what that that we are here for a reason and is not to is not to become part of the world but to to be separate man the scriptures say that we are a holy people unto the lord our power you know and that word uh holy being uh uh separate you know and what makes us separate from these from the world and from the nations you know the the two-thirds of our people which is the world of of israel and the heathen nations it's the law statutes and commandments man that that spirit of faith that the lord puts in us so that we may you know rehearse the righteous acts so that in turn we receive what salvation and and mercy from the lord and with that is going to come what the kingdom which is what everybody's seeking after man you know, Jake, the scriptures say, um, what then? Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it. You know, some way, somehow, you know, Jake is always trying to seek the truth on, on or, or, you know, the, some people call themselves searching for the meaning of life. And ultimately, the meaning of life is to understand the, 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 the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai for us, his people, Israel, man. And it starts with what? With fearing him and obeying his commandments. That's the purpose of life. And with that fear and, and, and obedience comes what? Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on what is happening around us. What we were put down here on the earth to do, man. Which ultimately for now is to what? To pay for, for our iniquities, man. For all the transgressions that we uh, committed against the Most High. But as we read here... In the book of First Romans, uh, chapter one of verse twenty-one, it says, "Let's see what it says in the NLT." Uh, it says, "Yes, they knew the Most High, but they wouldn't worship Him as the Most High or even give Him thanks, and they began to think, or uh, think up foolish ideas of what God was like. As a result, their minds became dark and confused." And I'm going to play this video to show you a, a perfect example of, you know, what our people have done. And this is, you know, a, a, a Judite man, but it goes both ways to the northern and the southern kingdom as well, man. Because this is the mentality of our people, man. And they try to mix 
you know, uh, the word of the Most High with, with their worldly, foolish, and dark thoughts, man. So let's play this clip, and then, you know, we'll, we'll keep on reading the scripture. You believe in of a man in the sky to come that never will, and then you believe in a man on the ground. White man had action. The black man had faith. He gave us faith. You believe in of a man in the sky to come that never will, and then you believe in a man on the ground that wants to put you in the ground. And all the while, he was taking action. You praying all this bullshit that you know how I many broke Muslims is. You going to church on Sunday, you ain't getting a dollar, and a white man is building empires because he's taking action and you're waiting for faith. But they tell you faith without work is what? Dead, right? So now when we work. go from faith and we say, okay, Apply I'm not- the work to the faith. Yeah, but now forget faith. I'm not asking God for shit. God already gave me what he was supposed to give me. me he gave me neuromelanin, breath, organs, and limbs that work. So, hey, I'm not praying anymore to God. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray to myself. I'm going to say, okay, body. Okay, left foot. And you see, this is where our people, again, uh, take a, a completely left turn, man. They create idols. They have no understanding of the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha and create themselves idols, man. You know, he said he he prays to himself, so now he's worshiping himself. You know, he's worshiping what Yahweh Hashem Yahusha gave him, which is his, his you know the, the the temple. So that was so that he could be so called successful. You know, and he made an, an analogy of you know uh, works. Uh, I mean, faith without works. Well, the reason why faith without works, you know, Paul spake of, of you know, uh, he, he uh, mentioned in the scriptures, it says, uh, show me that faith without works and I'll show you my faith through my works. This is speaking about righteous works, man. He's comparing the works that Esau is doing in, on the earth, which is all done through wickedness, building empires, all these things he's, he's speaking on. Esau did it, did it through what? Through deception, through robbery, through murder. And the scriptures specifically say, woe unto him uh, that, that established a, a, a city by iniquity, man. You see? So the Lord is not with that. But Jake believes that, that what? That he's going to be able to achieve the same things that Esau has done on this side, man. Jake has it in their mind, especially... You know, these, these jigs that are so-called doing some sort of, uh, well, that are doing well, so-called, uh, they really believe that it's just going to keep on going, that, you know, business is going to be business as usual. They're always going to make, you know, uh, money and keep on uh, going to the top. Well, that's not the case, man. Esau is preparing something big for our people, man, because they know who we are. They know that you are the chosen nation of the Lord and all they want to do is destroy you, man. But you see, Jake puts their, themselves in this uh, mentality of oh, everybody's equal. Everybody has a, a this, uh, we're all in the same playing field and we're not, man. The Lord put heavy curses upon our people, man. And the scriptures say that we shall be the tail and not the head. That these nations were going to oppress us. And the only way we were going to be uh, relieved of these curses was first and foremost by coming to him through the belief, through the faith in Yahweh Shah and that sacrifice he made for us, man. So that what? So that through, through that sacrifice, through the belief in that sacrifice, we may be forgiven of all the iniquity that we have committed against the Lord, man. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to, you're going to come into this faith and then flourish and prosper and just become a, 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 a sovereign nation. No, man. All it means is that you're going to understand why we're going through these things. You know, if you're going through something and you don't understand what the fuck is going on, that shit is vexing. But if you understand the consequences of, I mean, if you understand why you're going through those things and then you understand like, damn, I committed, I, I transgressed against the Lord and this is the consequence now you go through your day with with a with an understanding of why those things are happening. You see your people in the condition that they're in, and you're like, "Damn, this is the this is the consequence of of disobeying the Lord." 
you know but jake in the world man especially when they get some some money they believe that they just have all the understanding man and they come up with these stupid ass ideas and say like it but you know it's just that jake is a bunch of idiots man I'm going to pray to myself. I'm going to pray to my foot. To a bunch of stupid shit, man. And they believe that this is wisdom. You believe that you're going to overcome Esau and, and, and the beast system, which he, he already has everybody under, and that you're just going to be at par with him one day, or, or, or your sons or your grandsons. No, nah, man. You forget who these who these people are and what their 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 motives are and what their end goal is, and that's for what complete total world domination, man. And it doesn't include you at the top, man. But Jake really believed that. Oh yeah, we're gonna you know we all got a a a, a, a fighting chance to be equal to the white man. You're damn crazy, man. But let's keep on listening to this idiot okay i'm praying to my left foot i'm praying to my right foot i'm praying to my left hand i'm praying to my right hand i'm praying to my elbows i'm praying to my shoulders um, and i'm moving and i'm like okay now let's take action buddy right this is the kingdom that i have this is an army that god has given me thank you i'm grateful and how is that the kingdom you know uh, where, where, you're ruling over what? You're ruling over yourself? Not even close, man. Disobey one of Esau's rules. Uh, make your business uh, against or whatever. I don't know who the hell this dude is. I didn't even care to look him up. But make your businesses go against the agenda of Esau. Speak against the elite. And see what happens. See how far your kingdom gets. Nowhere. You see? But these are the people, these men are the so-called influencers of our nation, man. And they're teaching them nothing but idolatry, self-worship, which all of that is, you know, part of idolatry. And wickedness, man. Right? I have gratitude for receiving this blessing of life. Now I'm going to take action with the life that God gave me. I'm going to amplify... And that's the spirit. The man said, I'm going to stop you right here. You know? And and how do you show gratitude? How are you showing gratitude by disrespecting the Lord? He said, I ain't going to play. I ain't going to pray for shit to God. The scriptures say pray without ceasing, man. You think that your actions, you think that all, all your life you, you've lived a flawless life? The most high has enough dirt on you. From all your lives that you've lived before to destroy you in an instant, man. But you think you've done enough not to pray to the Most High to have mercy upon you. And you think your life is under your control. Well, you're a fool, man. It's like that parable of, of the man that had many, you know, uh, much uh, goods. And he, he created more barns. You know, and this, the scriptures say that what? Oh, thou fool... Oh, t tonight is your is your soul required of the Most High, man. You see, and this is why, again, <laughs> Romans one and verse, I'll read it in the NLT, verse uh, twenty one. Yes, they knew the Most High, so he acknowledged that there was a divine power, man. He said, "I, I am, I am grateful. I show gratitude." But you don't, this, like the scriptures say. Um, with their lips they do honor me But their heart is far Far away from me You know And their fe the, the fear The fear uh, Towards God is, is taught by the precepts of men You know It says yes They know the most high Or they know God But they wouldn't Worship him Because you're, there's a way That the Lord wants you to, to To worship him To give him praise man and it's not according to your own wicked mind, man. Like this dude is, is going into, you know. Uh, I'm going to pray to myself. I, I, I ain't going to ask for shit of the most high. Because he gave me everything I need. Yeah, he gives you everything you need. But guess what? You got to pray for, for mercy, man. You got to pray for understanding and for guidance 
of the Most High, you know, to, to, to guide you in the right paths, man. Because if you go in according to the world, especially chasing after Esau, trying to mimic Esau, man, you're going to perish. Because all it's going to take you is to what? To, to commit wicked acts. It says, And they began to think up foolish ideas of what the Most High was like. As a result, their minds became dark and confused, claiming to be wise they instead became utter fools. And this is what majority of our people are, a, a bunch of fools, man. Even if they have accolades, even if they have, you know, doctorates in divinity and all of these, you know, so-called uh, uh, scholarship, I mean, um, not scholarships, uh, uh, all these academia rewards and stuff, you know? Why? Because they don't understand the most high, man. Which is the creator, the all-knowing, the, the, where wisdom proceeds from, man. Eh? It says, and instead worship the, and instead of worshiping the glorious, ever-living God, they worshiped idols made to look like mere people and birds and animals and reptiles, man. And those are those idols, man. And in that case of this man, he was worshiping himself. Right. This you know, he worshiped. You could clearly tell Jake worships himself and worships money because his idea of 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 um, I guess of of, of freedom and, and and understanding is to be here with uh with Esau ruling. Not even ruling Because this motherfucker Is not ruling nothing But Sharing The the crumbs That Esau allows him to get Amongst You know Whoever he breaks bread with Man Which are Again A bunch of other Wicked men You see It says Back in the uh, NLT I mean um, KJV Wherefore, the most also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. And, you know, this is going going into, uh, you know, the act of sodomy and, and, uh, and all of that. But if you jump down, uh, if you jump down to verse... see or uh, 28 this goes into you know just the 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 rebels of our people man because it goes for for you know the, the sodomites and you know those that practice or uh, those unclean for acts but also for those that despise the most high man that despise righteousness because that's what it is you know it says and even as they did not like to retain the most high in their in, in their knowledge, the most high gave them up to a reprobate mind. And somebody like this, I mean, it's not impossible for the most high to turn them from that type of mentality, but a lot of the times it's not gonna happen. That's why the scriptures say that uh, it is a hard thing for a rich man to enter into the kingdom, man. Why? Because they they like the lifestyle, they like uh Fulfilling the, the, the lust of the flesh You know So it says And even as they did not like to retain The most high in their knowledge The most high gave them over to a reprobate mind To do those things Which are not convenient Being filled with all unrighteousness Fornication, wickedness Covetousness, maliciousness Full of envy Murder, debate, deceit Malignity, whisperers and all of these things are the char characteristics of somebody that is godless, man. Somebody that doesn't have Yahweh Bashim now with shy with him, man. Because this is what the world teaches you. You know, oh, you got to be uh, about yourself and you got to be about your money and, and the bag and this and that. And to be and to have those things, to acquire those things and maintain them, guess what? You have to develop these some some people say these skills, but these wicked 
um, you know, uh, customs. Backbiters, haters of the Most High, despiteful, proud boasters, and he was talking about, you know, faith like like if, like if faith was just like, uh, he gave the white man action and the black man faith. Like if faith was just like a, a, a useless, you know, meaningless thing, man. Because he's taking ac action. The black man had faith. He gave us faith. You believe in a man in the sky to come that never will. And then you... Let me see. And that's the problem with Jake, man. Jake wants to see or, or Jake wants the most high to come down and, and speak to them directly and tell them like, look, I'm going to come for you. I'm going to come back for you. Like, you a fucking idiot, man. The Lord gave up his son for us to be forgiven for all the wicked things we've done against him, man. But yeah, you have Jakes like this, man, that see how downtrodden, how destroyed our people are, how these nations keep on, uh, you know, uh, destroying us and boasting over us. Yet... You believe that the, the man that rules this earth, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is going to let you advance after all the atrocities that they committed against our people, especially against Judah, man. Yet you believe in him and in his world, his system, man. You see how stupid that is, man? That's why the Lord said you became fools. For my children, for, for my people are saddest children. Stupid, man. Believe in a man on the ground that wants to put you in the ground. And all the while, he was taking action. You praying all this bullshit that you know what I mean? Broke Muslims is. You, going you praying all these bullshit, you see? J man, that's why the Lord got to destroy the two thirds of our people, man. Because no matter what happens in their life, no matter how you break down the scriptures to them, what type of perspective you come to them uh by they're not gonna turn from their wicked hearts man they're gonna they're not gonna you know give up all the things that they have man especially those that that have something in this damn world man and again they became what backbiters haters of the most high despiteful proud boasters and you could see all those things all these characteristics while this man is speaking man Proud boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedience to disobedient to parents, without understanding. That's a key one. Without understanding. <clears throat> uh, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of the Most High that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. That's right, man. And whether white man is whether this man knows or doesn't know, which he knows, man. It's it's clear and evident that the Lord, that everybody that so called uh, labels themselves as a believer of God knows that idol worshiping is wrong, man. They know that you're supposed to love the Most High with all your heart, man, and not. You know, have idols uh, unto yourselves, man. So he knows, yet he refuses to come, you know, serve the Lord. And he's just doing what? Teaching others to do likewise, man. The scriptures say that what? He that, that, uh, breaketh one of these least commandments and teacheth men so, the same shall be called the least in the kingdom, man. And these jigs that, 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 that get some sort of money and fame and success in this world, they believe that they got the key to success, that they got the, you know, the, the, the top knowledge and that they could just guide the people of the Lord as however they feel like it, man, however they feel is right. And guess what, buddy? You leading a lot of people astray. Because let's check the comment, boys. I bet you... Look at this. First comment. I bet you, <laughs> I didn't even get to speak my thought, but I, you know, as we're going to see, there's going to be a lot of Jake agreeing to it, man. You see, it says, well said, this message isn't for everybody, but if you use your logical mind, 
you see he is speaking the truth. What truth? The truth of what? There is no man in the sky watching and game picking who to bless and to curse. Clearly, you have not read the scriptures, man. Blessed is he that readeth. You see? You get out of life what you work hard for. Not what some God decided to bless you with. Bless yourself. You have everything you need. Get to work. You see? And these are the type of people that our, our nation sees as as uh, as role models. As, uh, you know, people call themselves motivational speakers, man. And people start idolizing these people because they're just feeding them a bunch of bullshit, man. That's why in the book of Isaiah it says that what? That, you know, our people said, you know, uh, prophes prophesy not unto us right things, prophesy unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit, man. And this is what our people want to hear, man. They want to hear a message of, oh, we're, we're going to prosper and we're going to be like the white man. They see Esau eat him at the top and they think that they're going to get there, you know, by following after them. And that's what's going to get you destroyed, man. Look, another one. Bro, you sound crazy. Yeah, he does. You see? And then another sheep speaking the truth. If you know, you know. This is dumb as fuck. <laughs> For real, man. That's right. That's right. Look at that. Even though the woman has some fucking sense, man. Now nah, we still are going to pray to the Most High. Well, to God, though. Not ourselves. LOA. LOL. Pray to God. Have faith, but take action yourself. Don't sit and wait without making moves. Yeah, man. And again, <laughs> I don't know how... Jake, Jake tries to make those that believe in the Most High as like, oh, I'm gonna just sit here and pray to have a house, and I'm gonna sit here to pray to have a job, and like they're not gonna go and apply or do, you know, a, a certain things. Obviously, you you need actions for the things that that you want to receive from the Most High. But again, those that truly believe in the Most High that have the truth, we ain't praying for no fucking riches, man. We ain't trying to be like the fucking white man. We know how Esau Edom got his, his kingdom through destroying our people, man. So now you telling our people to, to follow after him? You damn crazy, man. You don't you you have no understanding at all. And this is why, you know, you're gonna get you're gonna be destroyed, man. Um Real quick, Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22. For my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are sottish children, and that word sottish going into the word stupid, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. And you see how he was, you know, talking all this crap about. Oh, you got to talk, act, I mean, take action and this and that. Trying to be wise, man, to instruct our people into into doing wickedness. But to do good, you don't know how to do good, man. You saying you, you, you give thanks to the Most High, yet you're telling people, oh, don't pray to the Most High. You are out of your damn mind, man. And this is why our people, hey, the two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed, man, for being faithful. I mean, for being unfaithful. That's why the scriptures say, uh, uh, let them perish then. Let's see real quick. Second Ezra 9 and 22. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my grape be kept, and my plants, 
for with great labor have I made it perfect. That's right. And that multitude is who? The two thirds of our people, man, because a lot of our people think this way. They think that they don't need the most high. Or a lot of our people think that the most high is just this genie that once you give up your life for his son, Jesus, then prosperity is going to come your way. And they don't actually go into what the heavenly father wants of you. You see? So, hey, with that, Akim, I hope the, the quick lesson was edifying. Again, all praises, honor, and glory going to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Till next time, Lord willing, hey, shalom.